All right, let's show off a few little eBay items here. Like this uh, six lever lock. I don't know who made it. I got oil everywhere. It's, I got it. It's closed. These top springs were seized open. I don't know if they're just locked up or not working. But I was able to stick a pick in here and push on those bottom springs and get it open. But I'll get this thing working right. I'll do another video on it. Uh, the Sergeant. A, what is that? GE870. And then Yale. That's the main reason why I got those is I like this lock. I like the Yale with the circle in there. I don't know why. I just do. Shackles are pretty rough, but put a little lock. And uh, another thing was this junk. To me, it's junk. There may be some collectors out there or somebody that wants this as a Siegel, a Corbin, uh, some Yales. Uh, somebody's got a use for it. Uh, there was a bunch of uh, covers and back plates and screws. Uh, if you got any use for this stuff, let me know because I don't. I'm not going to use it. And along with that stuff, I got some locks. There's a Yale. And uh, it's warding on here. I don't know if you can make that out. But uh, it's a different style of warding than what I'm used to seeing. Uh, bidding is pretty good on that. It's rough and hangs. Uh, there's another Yale. That same kind of warding on the side. There's a Ilco. This is a wafer lock. I've never seen a mortise lock that's a wafer. And this one has the uh, Bible. Like pins could go in. I don't know if it will or not. I'll have to take it apart and see. Uh, let's see. This is a... Uh, no, no name on it. Back, it's and a lot of these tail pieces. Not even sure how that comes off. I'll have to investigate on them. A lot of those are different. There's a Franklin. I don't know if these are, I mean, they look old to me, but this is a no name. That one don't look old, but this one here is a, it says a NMK22. And I don't, I don't think that's aluminum. But I don't know what that is. Here's a, here's another wafer, Taylor. And uh, it's got a little bump on the bottom there. Uh, never seen a wafer mortise style lock. Here's a Corbin. And a lot of these are solid. They don't have the little removable plate on there. So I guess they drill through the bottom all the way through. Uh, here's an Elgin. And it's the same way as solid on top. Ilco. It's solid. And it's, it's got the little bumps on here like when it was drilled through like the tip of the drill bit. I guess that's what it would be from. And uh, here's a Yale. A Corbin. I was able to pick that one off camera. But uh, it's got spools in it. I was glad to see that. Uh, here's an eagle. Not very good bidding, but uh, there's the key to it. 
And uh, some of these have got pins going through there. That's kind of unusual to me. I'm not used to seeing pins in there. There's a tailor. That cord's half out. When you look at that. Uh, another no name. Solid on top. Another no name. Got a pin in the back. And uh Ilco. I like the I like the keyway on that. That's gonna be fun. There's another eagle. You know. Oh a pin through there. And here's a Yale. And uh pretty good bidding. This key looks aluminum. I don't know how common that is. I'm not used to seeing an aluminum keyway. It's solid on top. And I don't know if these are old or what, but they look old and they smell old. But I'm going to show you this one. Uh, this is a Taylor. And look at the core. This is a France. And the core is plastic. The easiest pick I ever did in my life. Uh, that's the, the tailpiece. It went in there and then a little clip. Which was, you know, like I said, those tailpieces I'm not used to seeing. But the plastic core really messed me up. Uh, all standard pins, but this is something I've never seen before. There's a big hole right here. Move my light over here. These. Went right down in there. Like that. And then the pin. You get the idea. I can't get it in there. There it goes. Pin goes in there. I have never seen that before that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life maybe not my life a little exaggeration there but that's unusual oh uh, like I said it was easy pick he probably could have just shook it hard enough and picked it but uh I will pick it on camera. It says a uh, Taylor Lock Company. And uh I'll pick it on camera another day. But uh that's all I got. Just want to show some locks off and uh show this weird thing off. I hadn't got that one open yet. I think that core they painted it and I think it's painted solid. I'm going to have to break that loose. But uh, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for watching. Y'all don't do anything illegal and as always God bless.